pulmonary embolism can be a life-threatening event. It could be something that you may pass out and never come to again. So it is something that needs to be addressed right away. So pulmonary embolism is when a blood clot gets lodged in one or both arteries of the lung. The incidence of pulmonary embolism in the United States is about 900,000 patients per year. The numbers are much bigger than we even think because a lot of people don't get to the doctor and get diagnosed. We used to have a really hard time treating blood clots and the only options were procedures where we drip chemicals in and it would take sometimes a day, two days, three days. Back in 2013, Dr. Beninati made an appointment to have lunch with me. He's a very, you know, well-known physician, but I'd never met him. I had no reason to be because he wasn't a directly a neuro. And he thought that there would be a huge need if we would use our expertise in our platform around aspiration of thrombus for other parts of the body. The manufacturing processes that we launched with our neuro products set the foundation for Penumbra's catheter manufacturing technology with coil winding, thermoplastic lamination, hydrophilic coating. And we took those technologies and advanced them at the same time that we were moving into vascular markets. And we were able to build on that foundation with new technology like hypotubes as the backbone of our catheters, which allow for more trackability and better distal access. That innovation has continued because as we got bigger and bigger lumens to suck out more and more clots, we had to innovate a way to leave the blood behind and only suck the clot out. So we came up with a computer system to measure the flow so it could tell the valve when to close. And then now we're really at a point where we can be talking about computer-assisted vacuum thrombectomy. That's the new platform that will really dominate this field because it covers the three most important issues that every physician acknowledges. It has to be safe, it has to have speed, and they're both simple. That combination is what allowed continuous aspiration to happen, and, and that is really part of the new paradigm of thrombectomy, and it's far better. With the advent of technologies like computer-assisted vacuum thrombectomy, patients have a lot more options now than they used to have. Since it is a newer technology, oftentimes not all those hospital departments are aware of what has been developed. Our job is to really come in to try to help and support the education for all those different teams. Sometimes that also will involve actually helping them create what we consider a program. It'll involve protocol development and order sets and things like that that will actually help that hospital care for that patient in the most optimal way. PERT or Pulmonary Embolism Response Team is a multidisciplinary team and the goal is to facilitate rapid evaluation of PE patients to allow access to more advanced therapies beyond simple anticoagulation. We use computer-assisted vacuum thrombectomy as our preferred modality. The lightning flash, with the ability to limit my blood loss, with my ability to get into the pulmonary fields quickly, safely, and be able to extract as much clot as we've extracted with a great clinical outcome is the best approach. Lee is an avidly athletic guy, and unfortunately, like many athletes, developed an orthopedic injury. I was training last year for the marathon and um, I was on a run, stepped off the curb and, and had a little tweak in my knee. Uh, so I went to get x-rays checked and they told me it was a meniscus tear. So uh, at the beginning of the year, I went in for a meniscus surgery. That went fine. I felt good. And um, days later is when I started having the issues with the breathing and the chest pains. Came to our emergency department, very short of breath, requiring oxygen. Our evaluation of him was very rapid in that we assessed him quickly to be someone suffering from a fairly large pulmonary embolism. Our feeling was his treatment be best served by immediate extraction of his pulmonary embolisms to help his clinical case. I was surprised how, uh, how quickly I started to feel better. I wasn't expecting the relief that I felt and the pressure in the chest and everything. My heart rate was kind of back to normal, which was great. Felt good. So I went home the next day. I started going back to the gym and, and just doing light weights and, and doing some cardio work. I signed up for a, a race in May, marathon in November of next year. So get me back into training and, and, and shape, back to my 
light that I like. <laughs> I think stated a few times that this is going to be the most consequential year in the company's history because of these technologies, that this is really the start of a new era. We transformed into the frontline innovation for clot removal in all parts of the body. But the most important thing is that we continue to innovate from there and do the hard work to make sure physicians have access to our products. We're approaching that ideal when it's so simple and so easy to use that there's no reason not to use it. We come at this with an attitude that we can always get better. We never sort of rest on our laurels. We're never thinking that we're done. If we continue to innovate like we have for 20 years, we will be the company that in effect solves blood clot in the body.